All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Transformer figure, which I don't usually do. Um, it's a Wheeljack. And the reason why I am reviewing this guy is because he is a lot of fun to transform. And uh, yeah, it's just overall a great looking figure in robot and in vehicle mode. So I just want to uh, show you guys what he looks like. And uh, I do have an issue with it around the hips. I'm not sure why his legs will not rotate, uh, will not swing forward and back. I've seen reviews where other people, but there aren't that many reviews out on YouTube for Wheeljack. Uh, for some reason, uh, those, uh, I think those were uh, that previous version. I'm not sure which version that was, but uh, those, uh, you could swing the legs forward and back. But for some reason, mine will not swing forward and back. I'm not sure why. If anyone has the answer, please let me, please let me know. Um, but here's a look at him. Really good looking figure. I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, Cannon is a little small compared to the um, to the cartoon version, but uh, I'm okay with it. And, and overall, I think they did a fantastic job with this figure. It's uh, again a lot of fun to transform, and it's it, it yeah, it's it's just easy and fun to transform him. And here's the back side of him. You can see there's not a whole lot of stuff going on back here. There's no huge backpacks or anything like that, so just something I like. And uh, yeah, I'll show you from the side. Here you can see from the side, he looks just as good. So let's transform him. Well, before I transform him, just want to show you articulation of him. Uh, you can see head rotates. It is on a ball joint, and uh, the arm can, uh, the shoulder cannon can. Uh, no, actually, it has to go on this side because the peg right here doesn't fit in with this one. I mean, you could put this here, but uh, this peg that sticks out, it will be right behind him, so it limits his uh, head movement. And then that's for the shoulders, full range. So, yeah, really good. And uh, the arm, single joint, and then the wrist can rotate as well. And then the uh, abdominal section, it could uh, swing a little bit. Uh, the waist. Can swing, can rotate a little bit. Uh, again, legs cannot move forward on back. I don't know why, it just will not move. Uh, but it can swing out, and uh, knees could bend, and the ankles, see right there, and then it does have a pivot right there too. So oh, his feet will lay flat on the ground when you pose them up. And let's transform him. So you want to take the cannon off of him. I wish this could be stored somewhere inside the vehicle and not on top. But yeah. So let's see. Uh, first we do the legs. I'm just going to do the legs. I'm not going to go by the uh, instruction. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so swing these down. Swing these down. And then you have to click. Uh, make sure these are tugged in correctly. Because uh, this piece right here, you want to make sure it's nice and firm and it's tugged in exactly like that. Because uh, cause if you don't, uh, you're going to leave a giant gap uh, from the front here. And uh, here, that's what it's going to look like once you have them lined up properly. And then what you want to do is pull the legs apart like that, swing out to the side. This portion swing out to the side and then lift these uh, uh, um, visor. Oh, wait, no, these are the uh, windshield, part of the windshield up front. And then swing the legs in like that. And then you could clip them together like so. And there you have front vehicle portion done. And the next thing you want to do is pull this piece down and then attach that on here and it should pegged in nicely nice and firm and the next thing pop the head in and then you can rotate the whole body apart uh, from the waist down rotate it 180 degrees and then you gotta do the arms and uh, you just basically this is the back of the vehicle the bumper section and then you want to rotate the the wheels back up and then rotate the arms right there because this is the side panel same thing on this side oops like that and like that 
And then what you need to do now is these two, um, wait, which part of this? Uh, yeah, when you swing this uh, forward, uh, when you swing this arm up, uh, this, uh, you know what, let me get this out of the way. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this piece right here, this little nub right here, needs to go into this tab right there. So you want to swing this over and make sure it lines up in there. Uh, one side is easier to do than the other side because uh, now you, you don't have the room to tuck that in as much. So let me see here. I'm sure you guys see it. Let me do it on this side first. I think this side is harder to do than on this side. And there you go. See how it's uh, zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. It's tapped in there. Same thing on this side, it's tapped in there. You need those two pieces to go in, otherwise it's not going to line up properly. So once you did that, and you can swing the whole side portion over. And now it should tab in nicely, because uh, this underneath here, this little tab right here, is supposed to go into this section here. So now, right there, perfect. It lines up perfectly. Same on this side, that tab, oops, sorry, tab right here, goes in right there. And there you go, that's in perfectly. Nice and flush, and then now the spoiler, just swing them around, and there you have it. How fast was that? And once you have the vehicle all put together, see the windshield right here. All one piece and another bottom look at that really nice nice and flush everything like that I wish the uh, again I wish this cannon could go in there somewhere because uh, there's definitely enough room for you to put this cannon in there instead of having it be pegged up here which I find it kind of annoying uh, it it just doesn't look right it sticks out like a sore thumb right on top because this is a highly uh, aerodynamic vehicle and then you add this on top it's gonna suck and here look at the vehicle really nice I do really like the decals that are on this vehicle too and uh, I like the fact that they added some Japanese decals on here too this one Japanese decal here which is nice then everything else 638 and then yeah really nice Oh, and then right here as well, a little Japanese. And there's the Autobot symbol. And this is how the vehicle looks from the front. And from the side, really nice. And from the back. And there's a kit you could buy to uh, uh, to fix some of the issues, I guess. Uh, I, I, I think it's fine. Uh, they added uh, two red lights back here, which I don't really care for. It's not that big of a deal. And then I think uh, some portion of the legs, they covered up some of the leg area. But to me, I think it's fine. Uh, it's not needed. I don't think I need that uh, kit at all. To me, I think this will... Nice, the vehicle is awesome. Really nice looking vehicle. And as for the length of the vehicle, it's about, uh, uh, yeah, almost five inches in length. All right, and here's the comparison. And uh, we have Jazz and RC. And in between, we have Wheeljack. So you guys can see, scale wise, uh, wheeljack fits in perfectly, so yeah, awesome. Okay, one last look, and uh, yeah, where did I get this? Oh yeah, I got it off uh, Amazon, so it was twenty dollars. Totally worth getting. Yeah, highly recommend uh, wheeljack. If you could find it, definitely pick it up. So there you go. Thanks for watching.